and in this video I'm an old man with a silver line angle finder. Let's go take a look at what it does. Okay so let's have a look at doing the corner angle with an actual angle finder. This is the silver line angle finder and what it does as you open out or close the folding section you can see hopefully let me just change that a bit you can see the angle changing on the display so what we do is we hold one section against one side of the wall and we put the other section to the other side and what i've got shown on that is 88.8 so normally you'd expect the two sides to come together at a 90 degree and if you cut your two pieces of skirting or baseboard then you'd cut them normally at 45 degrees that's a logical thing to do and what you'd find is that you'd have an issue where there's a gap because the angle isn't cut right because in fact the half of this angle is 44.4 not 45 degrees and you might say well it's only sort of about a degree and a half but when you come to a cut in a piece of skirting board and come to the joint you'll find that even just half a degree sticks out like a sore thumb it's just so obvious so 88.8 what this has also is a function on it called mitre and you press the mitre button and it changes the measurement on the display to 45.6. And just here it actually says MTR for mitre. So I take that back off again, back to 88.8. .8. So we'd be looking to set the mitre saw at an angle of 45.6. So we'll wander off to the mitre saw and we'll go and have a look. A quick diversion to try and explain something that might not have been obvious. Where did the 45.6 come from? Okay, here's our wall angle. We've already discovered that is 88.8. So we'll just add in a couple of pieces of our skirting board or baseboard. drawn very roughly and the angles on the end of these are going to be 88.8 .8 divided by 2 which is 44.4 now if we quickly draw out our mitre saw not particularly well but there's the base of our mitre saw And here's a 90 degree cut line, which the mitre saw is set at standard. But on the mitre saw, it's shown as zero. Slightly off at the top corner of the picture, you're missing the 90 degrees because it's not showed. And then here's a 45 degree mark. So 88.8 .8 divided by 2 is 44.4. .4 but you subtract the 44.4 from 90 so that's 90 less 44.4 and that gives you your 45.6 which is the angle that you set the saw at just focus that directly on the mitre saw itself then here's the base of the mitre saw you can see the zero mark which is actually 90 degrees you can see the saw now set at 45.6 and accordingly the cut on the end of the piece of timber will be 44.4 so you will remember from earlier that the silver line angle finder was on 88.8 .8, and that gives us a mitre of 45.6 so we'll just take that to the measuring scale on the mitre saw and we'll check it out. That said, I needed 45.6. So 
So I'm going to take it back to 45 and then I'm going to nudge it across to just over halfway through the degree mark. So that's my first cut done. Take the clamp off. Turn the workpiece over again. Just use the quick clamp. There's my first piece, and now I'm going to do my second piece. Okay, so the way we do things these days is we get some mitre adhesive and some activator. Spray the activator on. Put some adhesive on. Don't be tempted to spread it out with your finger because you'll end up with your finger being part of your skirting board. Put the two together on a flat surface. Press and hold. If you're doing it on the uh, customer's floor, put a bit of paper down or something first to make sure that you protect the floor. Hold it for a few seconds. There you can see why you need to put the paper on the floor. And that's now stuck. Fantastic stuff. Now, I'll just put that in place on the wall. And as you can see, aside from the fact that the architrave is bowed, because it is in fairness an old piece that's been lying around in my garage for years, that is a pretty good fit. Uh, if you were up against the plasterboard, the plasterwork instead of uh, this piece of skirting board, all you'd do is you'd fill that with some cork. And that size of gap you wouldn't worry about. Very small gap at the top there. But again, with a little bit of cork or a tiny bit of filler, that's not gonna look bad. If you've got a house that was built uh, by a building company if you go around and have a look you probably won't find it much better if your skirting was put on by a proper finished carpenter you might find it slightly better but that's not bad okay so that is the video of the silver line angle finder will i buy it again yes i've used it a fair bit not just for doing skirtings and stuff like that I used it on the landscaping project, I've used it on a number of different things where the Bora Mitrix wouldn't do the job. Um, if I look at the comparison between the cuts on the two, just get that right to the angle, yeah, if I look at the comparison between the two, there's not a huge difference in the cuts. I'm happy with both of them to be fair wouldn't be able to say you must use the Mitrix or you must use the angle finder but it's a good enough piece of kit I'd buy another one if this one failed I'd replace it I'm perfectly happy with it so hopefully that's been of some use to you uh, if it has please feel free to like and subscribe take a look at some of my other videos on my channel have a look at the website oldmanwith.com if you want to buy one of these there's a link to it in the description below and other than that, thanks very much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.